So th these are the, uh, I'm just gonna put these right here. <laughs> uh, let's scroll. This is this one I wrote uh, just now when I got here. The griever grieves not for what was lost, but for what will be lost. Okay. All right, strap yourselves in. <laughs> This is uh, <clears throat> so you'll see in this in this poem uh, the idea is not to fix into a form, not to you know find the rhyme, not to uh, maybe even say something more clearly than it gets said. It's it's almost like a diary. It's just like these moments, boom, 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 and I'm just trying to to write. And I was like literally writing this as this happened, you know. Uh, Paul probably saw me writing some of this because he was there when this happened. Um, it might have looked odd because during the event, like, I'd have my phone out. And you'd probably be like, who are you texting? And I was like writing at the time. So this is called uh, The Death of a Horse, The Birth of Memory. <clears throat> and uh, I think this was written Wednesday morning. Wednesday. Uh, no, Tuesday morning. Tuesday, sir? Yeah, Tuesday morning. <clears throat> so some of my students that are here that have seen me between now and then and wondered where I was, this is maybe telling you. <clears throat> the rain didn't fall last night so much as it was thrown. <clears throat> The wind didn't blow last night so much as it was whipped. And a whip is a thing which lacerates, it cuts. The day after was the last day. <clears throat> and the next days will be filled with no more and no longer until the next days outnumber the here with us days. And the days after those days will pile on unmercifully as well. The whip wind cuts. <clears throat> Whippy storm, shallow breath, dirtied coat of braided eyes, right when swollen, no bowel signs right and few on left. Unwilling to move, pressed rump first into a corner facing southwest. Signs of sweat. <clears throat> My other horse went this way. She weakly offers to the morning air, to the isn't there, foreshadowing shadows and coming despair. I wish the doctor would hurry up and get here, though we knew he would. He was, he would be, soon. How soon, we didn't know. Shaving tummy, seeing what's beneath, what is deep. Ultrasound inconclusive, which leads to a conclusion, the conclusion. Mommy cooing for hours. She's brushing him now. He's toxic, says Doc J. It's time. Quietly said to all who already know. But the spokenness of it is its own gift. The haunting guest brought into life, into the moment, into Astro's stall. Outside, the crows cried, the gray winds sucked warmth. <clears throat> Did 
you're gonna like where you'll be, repeated Mama K. A stroke, a kiss, a nuzzle, a forelock felt. He thumped down, Mama started. We four knelt down, knowing that but three would rise. Syringe after syringe, 20, two years. His heart's stopped now, says Doc. That's just his diaphragm trying to do its job. Astro huffs heartily. Blankets cover him now in a damp paddock. His bridle off at long last. He is still, she shakes, tears from both. The wind won't stop. He seems to breathe. It's just the wind under the blankets. He really seems to breathe. I learned so much from this horse. Thanks. <laughs> We could pretend the next ones would be easier. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so this is, uh, you know, for me, um, trying to let the, maybe we'd say the poetic mind um, help embrace the moment, you know. So it's kind of writing as it happened. And other than that, I'm just waiting to be told what to do, you know. If somebody says, hey, do that, hold that, don't hold that, don't go in there, go in there, call that person. I just kind of like, you know, uh, just robot waiting to be programmed. And then when you're not told what to do, like, let me see if I can embrace this with this part of my mind. Because that's the part that was like... Uh, most plaintive, most urging. You know, so it wasn't thought out, like, this would make a good poem. You know what, this would be, a, a real poet would stop it. It wasn't, it, it's not thought, it's just, you know, here is, here is the type of expression that feels uh, present and necessary, you know. Don't know if it's the right thing, but I could tell you what the feeling was. <clears throat> So, uh, in the same vein, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. You know, uh, I did the sort of farmhand work of the physical uh, stuff. And then I did the, uh, the Taoist priest stuff of doing a little ceremony because uh, I was present. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, so I've just been sitting on his grave all night, so he's not alone. Uh, so this is, uh, this is uh, written uh, yeah, in the barn that night. called Empty Ball, em Empty Stall, Quiet Barn, Starless Night, Buried Horse. I'm here tonight to stand in the ache, the ache of hollow, the empty of the not simply empty, rather the empty of the recently full, the silent ache of missingness, of quiet, 
before the ghosts have risen, before the memorial stones are set, before the cards arrived, before the flowers are vased to wilt. I'm here tonight to stand in the ache of what so recently had been, of who was. I'm here tonight to stand and weep and shudder. I'm here tonight because you are not. <clears throat> so I know, again, like the Confucian would say, well, 